Hi, my name's Stuart Herring. I'm the Managing Director of Redfish Technologies. Today I'm going to show you uh, something that I've discovered on the iPad uh, using a Griffin iMic record, um, audio capture device. In this case, I'm coming in via a microphone signal from a small mixer and a line input uh, output from that into the iMic unit. Um, what we're going to actually be showing you is an application I found um, on the App Store called Soundpaper. Now, the Soundpaper application um, will capture audio and you can take notes at the same time. So one of the things that um, we're showing you here is the audio capture element. That's not supported or shown to be supported by Apple. Um, there's no document out there, although there's a few web applications showing you that audio can be captured, but um, Apple is certainly not seeming to um, indicate support of this. However, it works perfectly well. So in this particular application, I'm just going to type in a title, so test in this case. Nothing special. And I'm going to start recording. So off we go, record time, and uh, we're playing back the, uh, or we're recording the audio as we need to. So I'm just going to type in some audio for some um, text. So uh, one, two, three, four, and five, followed by some more text. Now I'm talking as I go because I want the audio to be captured as this is occurring. In a meeting environment, of course, you could be typing some text while someone's talking and you want to bring those together. But in addition to that, you might actually want to do some drawing. Somebody might put something up on a whiteboard and they show it's a, a, a rectangle and it's got several squares in there with a circle in the middle and the circle turns into a smiley face, for instance. If you want to expand into that, I'll put a big tongue on there and uh, bring it back as you need to. So that whole audio, that whole box can be configured and that's also capturing against the audio. And finally, we're going to do some more text. So happy days are here again. Oops, spelt again wrong there. And just finishing off. OK. Now um, I'm going to press stop there and we've now captured the audio as we need to and we've also captured the text and everything else that was done whilst we were recording. I can play that back. So off we go, record time and uh, we're playing back the, uh, or we're recording the audio as we need to. Okay, so there's, or I can scroll up, I can start to play. So off we go, record time. I'll just stop for a second. Now, anywhere I click in the text, it will go to um, the audio or about two or three seconds behind where that text was written in. There's an offset. So off we go. Record. Four and five. Followed. I mean, of course, you could be typing some text while someone's talking. A tangle and it's got several squares in there with a certain drawing. Somebody might put something up tongue on there and uh, bring it back as you need to. So these are here again. And finally, we're going to do some more text. So you get the general idea of what's happened there. As we've recorded, the audio has been linked to that recording. Final part of this is we can uh, email the text and the picture. Um, the PDF just will PDF uh, everything out and uh, the pictures. Email the PDF and MP4 audio, or we can share it with our Mac or our PC. So that's it. Um, that was something I wanted to show to people out there who may want to be taking notes during meetings. Ideal for um, courts, judges, legislative assemblies, councillors, and so on. Um, something that is going to be quite useful in the future, I feel. Uh, so thanks very much for watching the Redfish Technologies uh, YouTube channel. Um, I hope you found this useful. Come back soon and uh, hopefully I'll have some more innovations and technology that can help the digital recording market. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.